Well, I guess anybody that thought the Green Bay Packers were going to win the World Series, the NBA Championship, and the Super Bowl in one year, they would go 0-3, 0-3, 0-3. As you saw, Matty Ice, Matty Ryan, dismantle the Green Bay Packer defense and had them on their fucking heels in the second half, putting up a 27 spot, could have scored 34. I personally believe with my eyes on the chopping block, my ball sack resting on the guillotine in front of a sharp knife, that if Julio Jones does not get hurt with 7 minutes and 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter, a very clean hit to the back, smash, that the Atlanta Falcons would have won the game outright. They would have won the game outright. They would have won the game outright. Julio Jones shredded them for about 250 yards and could have broke the record of 330 yards because they could not stop him triple teaming him. So if Matt Ryan in the second half of a game at home in Green Bay, and I understand they beat the Patriots 26-21, I had the Packers, and I understand they had the Falcons beat 31-7, 31-7, 31-7 at the half, and the game looked over, but I don't care. They'll never beat Seattle. Never, ever, 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 ever. If Seattle has to go into Green Bay, they'll piss on them, and we've already seen what happens when Green Bay goes to Seattle. Remember that game at the beginning of the year? I mean, that was a fucking joke. That was men against boys. Now... Although Aaron Rodgers might have the best talent out of any quarterback in the NFL, I profess that he's the luckiest scumbag motherfucker alive because five or six plays last night, he almost died. And I was really praying for it. His head almost fell off his shoulders. And God, would I have sucked someone dick to see that because I fucking hate Aaron Rodgers. He got out of plays that no one can get out of, but he almost died. If he plays Seattle, he will die. Because that bullshit just won't fucking fly. Especially with the Packers' defense being as porous as a fucking sponge dipping into a fucking pool. And it'll be a pool of blood for the Green Bay Packers. So again, Atlanta Falcons, plus 13, plus 13, plus 13. Should have won the game fucking outright. But the easiest cover of your life. And I came with it the strongest game I've ever played in my life. 50-unit play, 50-unit play, 50-unit play. After getting embarrassed on Sunday with the Philadelphia Eagles, came back with the Atlanta Falcons for a 50-unit play equal to the Eagle play. Now, obviously, the Eagle play had parlays attached, which hurt us. Which hurt us. But at least we get back. A third of our money in one night. A third of our money in one night. A third of our money in one night. Atlanta Falcons, 50-unit play, 50-unit play. And in my opinion, should have won the game fucking outright, if not for the Julio Jones injury. Now, tonight, full-blown basketball. Love the college and pro basketball card. I have my best bets up. The Godfather has his best bets up. I have a free winner on the free selection tab of the website. On the free pick phone right now, you're going to go 2-0, 2-0 in the NBA. 2-0 in the NBA, absolutely free. Plus, I have up all the college ball packages. I have a normal package, which will give you 50 selections. 50 selections. 50 selections, either... 25 sides, 25 totals, or a combination of that. 50 selections right now for just $500. So buy the bowl package for the $500. And obviously, if you're a $25,000 better, $50,000 better, $100,000 better, $250,000 better, $500,000 better, you're going to go for the package to go 8-0, 8-0, and 8-0. All the significant bowls, including the bowl championship, for right now, I'm charging $25,000. $25,000, $25,000. You can pull it up on the website right now. Eight of the top bowls, including the bowl championship, Right now at StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. Biggest bet is in the world. Trust me, with their money, you can too. You should too. On the free pick phone, 800-982-2211. Two NBA winners, free, 800-982-2211. Let's rock and roll. Let's score out. And Aaron Rodgers, baby, we're coming for you, motherfucker. We're going to stick that cheese up your fucking...